everybody. You're at your home, your happy place. I'm Debbie. Today we are going to do the rest of the screened in porch. I actually cut um, that one video into two and uh, just gave you two short videos. You'll have to let me know how you like or don't like that. And so I will be in the same clothes I was in in my last video just because it was one video. Um, so we're going to do the coffee table, the hearth, the mantle, a little, um, I don't know, sofas and signs and things like that. Just give it a little refresh for summer. And I mean, I could live on the screen in porch. I really could. I'll see you at the end. I know I had something hanging here, but I don't know what it was. <laughs> so this is something I already had. Let me hook it through. I have a command strip there. There we go. So I had this last year hanging on something, but not on the wall. That looks pretty. Of course, the wind's picking up. <laughs> okay, you guys, what do I do here? I was about to pull the lavender because the lavender blankets because it's summer, and yet the night still can be cool. Um, I had left the purple out for all the parties I just had, but I did order some new pillow covers, so I think I'm going to go ahead and change them out. All right, I ordered some lemon and green and white <laughs> pillow covers from Amazon. I mean, there's two in this. See how thin this is? It's like, it's like this hard little cardboard pack. The funny thing is, there's just a hint of lavender in there, and I couldn't even see that. So, I really, I wasn't even thinking about it. But I'm reading uh, its vacuum package, which I know um, uh, it does tell you to keep uh, to uh, wash these before using because of the wrinkles. Wash and iron. I've never done that with any of them yet, so I'm not going to fool with it right now for sure. But let's see what they look like. Oh, I like the feel. Ooh. I don't even know how to describe it. It's kind of a silky feel. Oh, well, here we have, whoops. Here we have it. Really pretty. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna make you watch me take these pillows covers off and I'll just do it and then I'll come back on. All right, here's how it looks. That throw is, a mess, but I'll fix that up. Um, so they would look just fine without the throw even. I I don't know if I'll keep it out here or not. I mean, it does draw some of the lavender over, but I may have some lavender coming. So this is like the before, and that is the after. So I'm going to change out the other two pillows, and then we'll do the coffee table. Just, I am going to leave the lavender because it's it's serving the same purpose that runner is. It's just carrying a little bit of that lavender through. Um, I changed just two things on uh, this little um, tea cart or bar cart, but I'm going to probably go grab some more of those glasses and play with this. And I'll, I'll get rid of the rabbit. And I had brought out a lavender pitcher, but I think I might replace that with a different one. And um, I probably had lavender here, and this was another um, lemon tree I had, which I had this one in the center uh, of the centerpiece on the table, but I've decided to put it over here. It's a little more airy. And then I'm just leaving the sign and that lavender down there for now. Um, I had a he is risen or something like that. On this flag, so we just changed that out for a beautiful monarch butterfly. 
and over here i don't know if i had this out or not because i feel like i found this when i was at uh, our cottage in st louis and in case it's not showing it's got lavender wreaths in for the o's on here i had this round uh, basket tray out here i added um just one napkin in it and I may have had these already, I don't know. They're just coasters that I'm sure I picked up. Well, I don't know. I could have got them at TJ Maxx or Home Goods, or I could have got them on Amazon. I'll link some below. And then this little basket is just like one I had inside in the kitchen. And I'm just setting that inside, keeping the whole little thing as one. That's all I'm going to do on that table. It leaves plenty of room for a tic-tac-toe or another game. Okay, as I said, I'll come back to that, but I'm ready to do the hearth. So if you recall, for the hearth, I had the topiaries that are now inside and then a wreath stand with a wreath on it. I left the wreath stand and the same wreath. And I had played around with some lemon. But the idea that I had for inside, all I did was bring it outside and you never saw it. So I'm about to show you. I just purchased some big terracotta pots at Lowe's. And then it's the half round again. And I just thought this was so pretty. I mean, think of all the places you could use this. I put it on, I wanted it elevated a little bit. It probably look, would look fine lower. I never even tried it lower. I have, I have it setting on these short sage green planter stands. Honestly, right now I'm just gonna try it short and see what I think. I think I was so used to the tall topiaries that there was no way I could put something that low down. Well, here it is. I'm actually, I've, so I've had it this way for weeks. I'm actually going to do it this way for a while and see how I like it. I'm kind of enjoying that. So I'm going to take the stand away. You can let me know which way you prefer. I could actually even move those in closer if I wanted. All right, and then it's probably too much, <clears throat> but I had two swags, lemon swags. They do happen to have black and white gingham ribbon on them. So, so easy to take that out and put some yellow ribbon or lavender ribbon, but I just didn't want to with it. Um, they're not that noticeable, but I just decided to add, it's almost like a garland up there and it still leaves the little spot in the middle where our TV works. <laughs> so let me back up so you get the full picture up there. All right. Okay. I think all that I have left to do is tweak that little guy over there and the screen porch is ready for some enjoyable summer time. I decided to just do something super simple. The uh, picture that I was thinking of actually goes to some margarita glasses which have no color on the glass itself. They have um, a bamboo stem. So I did still have four more of these and so since I have a glass holder already built into this, I decided to pop it in and I'm done.
Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I am out here. The weather is gorgeous. I'm sitting on the little sofa out here with Bibi. Say hi, Bibi. <laughs> so, okay, she's she's being a little stuck up, I guess. Um, I will link everything from both the tablescape from the previous video and this uh, the rest of this room below. And I, as always, appreciate your time. Uh, let me know if you're enjoying my videos being sh really short, like I think these two were 10 minutes. Um, cause I can break up my videos if this is more appealing to you. I don't know. I've never done it before. Um, I just decided to try it this week because it was a natural breaking point, but I could always do that in a room instead of doing the whole thing, which I kind of did in the kitchen, but it still was, I think it was still two 30 minute, uh, videos. So, um, if you would remember to give me a like, I'd appreciate it. I look forward to all of you who decide to chat in the comments. And you have a wonderful weekend. I really hope that you're able to get outside, enjoy some sunshine, fresh air, you know, go for a walk. Um, if you can do something else that's fun, I don't know, ride a bicycle take a boat ride. I don't know. You guys tell me if you get to do something fun this week. I will see you next week at your home, your happy place. Bye.